Traffic cones, lane closures, and even une uneven pavement. It's a common sight for thousands of drivers zipping through mid St. Louis County every day. And tonight we have an updated timeline on the major project tying up Manchester Road in and around Brentwood. That is where our Alexis Zotos is joining us live tonight, checking in on how your tax dollars are being spent. Alexis? Corey, Sam, we have promised to keep you updated on this project, and there is light at the end of the tunnel in the Brentwood area, where it feels like these cones have been here for years. So this part of the project wrapping up very soon, but if you live farther west, well, it's heading your way. It's just been a lot and a lot to deal with and feels like it's never ending. Take a drive down Manchester Road and you can't miss the lane closures, the traffic cones and the bumps and dips in the road. It's definitely been loud, a little hectic, a little crazy. Emily Cronin says during the course of the years long construction, she's replaced several tires popped by nails. Two within the past year. But for her, the end results will be worth it. Definitely a beautiful park. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous. Um, definitely nicer roads. It'll be smooth. The massive new Brentwood Park is almost complete. The $7 million playground will be finished in the fall, but the trails and green space will be open this summer. We've revitalized that entire area, putting it back to its natural green space uh, for the sole purpose of accepting the flood waters when Deer Creek has those moments. The years of flooding on Manchester was the reason for the massive taxpayer funded project. MoDOT worked alongside the city of Brentwood to fix the road, which is almost complete, at least in this section. West of Brentwood, the state is still moving along and they're going to continue to move west. And the years of construction has met losses, including the closure of several businesses. We don't like to lose any businesses. But the mayor of Brentwood says new businesses are on the horizon. A proposed redevelopment with Green Street could transform 40 acres along Manchester Road with new restaurants, apartments and more. Something that excites some yet worries others. So with the future development, I feel like it's just going to be more construction. It's one thing after the next, so it's kind of like it's never going to end. So that light that was at the end of the tunnel, it's kind of it's smaller and smaller. The city of Brentwood says if you've got concerns, they do want to hear from people. And one thing people have complained about is when is all this dirt going to look like something else? The good news is grass and trees, they are on the way. Uh, the project part here in the Brentwood area is supposed to be wrapping up at the end of summer. Sam? And that's the other part of the question tonight, Alexis, is is there a timeline on completion for this MoDOT project altogether? Right. So again, this portion of Manchester will be wrapped up as you head down the west uh, by the end of summer 2023. But it's going to continue westward. It's going to go through Rock Hill. It's going to go through Kirkwood. It's going to go to De Pere, eventually making its way to 270 and then 141. So be prepared to see cones along Manchester Road for years to come. We're live in Brentwood. Alexis Zetos, News 4. Keep maneuvering around him, Alexis. Thank you. An